What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4 as Sweden. The war is finished because I went away for a second and forgot to press pause. But <laughs> luckily, it wasn't a big war. Um, they have offered us this peace deal. I'm not going to accept it because, you know, I have bigger plans. Ooh, why? May 4, Muscovy and Puskov. Okay, well that's, that, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Even if it did, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I don't get why if you take everything, it wouldn't consider that I would want all their money. But yeah, I'll take it anyway. There we go, full annexation. We'll see what happens. Probably won't lead to a coalition. If it does, only Muscovy could join. Because they were the only other ones that could join. And they're dead. So, ripperoni for them, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but I, you know, desperately needed that land. So, it's just, it's got to be. What was that British colony called? I was not seen that one before. I assume it is out in the Pacific somewhere. Sounded like it. Mamluki in Australia. Is it this? Australia? No. Oh, maybe, maybe. I don't know what it was. It was somewhere. Japan still half around. Korea slowly chopping away at them. Oh, no. Stop spinning. Everlasting friendship. Yay. And we finally got Carl and Hedwig. Hedwig seems terrible as a consort. But fine. Carl isn't great either. I mean, it's harsh to say that to someone who's zero years old. But he has zero military skill. Not sure how that's defined for someone who's zero years old. But, okay. It's the complete opposite of his dad. So, fair enough. At least Adolf had a baby. At 53, he got there in the end. Got us an heir. That is nice. And one of our generals is now gone. Okay, it's only the one star one. We can have quite a few generals now. Not that I intend to, but there we go. Another two star. That is terrifying. <laughs> 50 stack with a three star general right there. Okay, but this will be difficult to course. I'm just going to stick around because there's probably going to be a few rebels popping up. I won't stand in Puskov because it's likely they'll pop up there and be bigger than the stack. And by the time I've noticed, they'll probably be dead. Let's mothball the forts just to keep that money coming in. Oh, the Commonwealth. Maybe biting off a bit more than they can chew from Muscovy. A lot of separatists. Oh my goodness, how do we have a thousand ducats again? We're running out of manufacturing buildings to build. This is not good. <laughs> is there nothing? Not sure we have enough men anyway. Oh, up the costs. Great. So our force limit at 80? 83. Bingo. We can build a new 20 stack with some of our money. We can't actually because I have enough money right now. But soon we will. The template's only for 10. So I'm going to be lazy. I wish templates saved across games, but I guess that would be a bit silly. Probably doesn't work. Ten. We can afford it now. I think that's the two stack though. Ten, two, eight. I don't think that's this. That might be just the individual one. Yeah, we can't afford. We need 351 ducats. I mean, that's not going to take that long. Best in new technology. Military level 27. Dang. Britain, by the way, just for comparison, is also okay, 27. 26 for the Commonwealth. Okay, but we're two ahead of Austria, so that's always good. Revolutionaries in Würzburg, and they're not going to be able to deal with them, because they're both bigger than their army. So that'll be fun for them. 351, so next month we will be ready. Nope. Nope, we don't want to build that, we want to build this. To make our army a third bigger, 33% bigger, so that's going to sh send us shooting up the uh, table. We were not on. Port oh, I was saying about Portugal last episode. They finally overtook Austria. So I assume they're still colonizing a lot. But yeah, that 80 stack will put us all the way up to just behind Austria in the list. Although their force limit's a lot higher. So I assume they won't remain that way for too long. And this new army has built itself pretty quickly, pretty nicely. It's all coming along perfectly. There's actually no. Okay, there might. Oh, there's a lot of separatists. Okay, I thought there was none. Which was unlikely. 207 to call that province. That is ridiculous. Assemble an army. Finally completed. Nice. Unite home region. All provinces in Scandinavia region owned by Sweden. Click to center. Yeah, I want to see what provinces do I need. Oh, I need to take all of those. That's probably not going to happen unless someone calls me in. Because these guys have Austria on their team. Plus a lot of other people. Although, look at that. Everyone's willing to join. That would that would be pretty big if we did that. That'd be kind of cool. Just a huge war. 
that we could start. Oh, they're going to keep flashing purple. I need to take those. Would, would Commonwealth join in this one? Because then it would just be Austria. They would. See, I'm up for this. This sounds like a better idea. I don't think Austria can call everyone in if I don't press that button. Um, That seems like a better idea. If I called in these three, I think they could beat Austria anyway. Although Würzburg are busy, so I won't do it straight away. I think Hamburg would be enough. But, you know, if I called the Commonwealth in, that would probably make sure of it, right? It would just allow me to go and occupy Denmark while no one's watching. Go away. There we go. I'm not sure it's going to go away. But, okay. Yeah, so we've built up the favours, which is what I was kind of aiming to do. That's worked, so that's the best news. Really, right now, all these things are still being built. We are currently 19.5 to Bull... Baltic, does that say? To Baltic? Is it... Yeah, I think it's going to put Krakow to Baltic. Baltic Sea, we're collecting 33. Nice. This guy's collecting in Kiev. I feel like it would be better to collect in Novgorod. I might be wrong. Sweden gains trade war. No. Just lose the stability. It is foolish to go after the Commonwealth, but I'm not dumb. Oh, the problem is boosting stability uses admin, and I'm trying to use that at the moment to stop the rebels. So, just have to hope no, no kings die at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully he can, you know, go beyond the average life expectancy. But yeah, in terms of wars at the moment, we're pretty limited. We've sort of got Denmark as the small option, with Austria obviously. Muscovy is one, again, we can keep doing, but there's a time limit. Not time limit, there's... We've got to wait, basically, and obviously we've com the Commonwealth want to do it too, so it's going to, like, we're both chipping away slowly, taking it in turns. But there we go. Diplomatic Tech 25 now. One more away. Oh, this could take a while. With all the coring, that's fine. And another manufacturing. Just keep on investing all our money into this. Some of them just finished. One went. How did that take? To, how did that get to minus one day? I don't know how that worked out, but it did. Austria is no longer a great power. Gutted. Yeah, I mean, if we, I think we could beat them with just Bohemia. And okay, you know what? I'm ready for this. Let's, problem is, I think we have to get enough war score. Denmark don't have any forts. <laughs> like, it's not going to be just as simple as waltzing in, and I'm not going to be able to do much to Austria. But you know what? I, I kind of want it to look nice. I don't mind not taking land in Denmark because it doesn't you know, necessarily look like it should be part of Sweden. But this does look kind of like we should own this. It's kind of embarrassing to us. So we should go get that, which we will. Which stacks did I send? You guys need to be like child. <laughs> you need like to practice. So go over there, new people. That is a really extra complicated route just to... <laughs> Get over there, but fine, whatever. Build improvements. 425, no. Maybe we should start investing in some of these other things. Plus 5, there we go. Plus 5 trade power. Not too bad. Anything for our Queen Consort. Lose 20 naval tradition or no special favours. Okay, let's do it, whatever. It's fine. Won't hurt. Okay, where's our boats? Austria will not have any boats out this way, so we can send ours up towards the Danish coast, or what is now Denmark, I guess. Hopefully they haven't allied anyone else. No. Do we need a claim? No, oh, 11 peasants. Dang it. Okay. Luckily, we have a pretty big army. That's not the end of the world. Oh, they're right there. So it'd be quicker to send this. Okay, you guys come in. We'll quickly deal with this, and then we'll go after Denmark. Okay, yeah, we can just do the take capital one. That's fine. Actually, that'll be better because the war school. Oh, actually, it actually doesn't matter. As long as you get the province, and I assume we will. It'll be pretty easy to take Denmark on. And we're going to call in everyone against Austria, which is going to really hurt for them. Fever, Nate, neither party. Both lose 15. Loyalty, lose influence. Side was one. Influence up by two and a half, but the clergy lose 15. Gain. Okay, let's side with the clergy, and then I'll fix whatever goes wrong as a result of that. Did I send these guys? They are, they're just going slowly. Okay, yeah. Let's deal with this while it's not good. Cool. Gain, lose five prestige, gain loyalty, gain influence. There we go, recover the issues. It's a shame we lose prestige, but I mean, it's positive, so it's not the end of the world. And let's quickly... Okay, they're going to walk straight into us. That's fine. 
that's an easy victory across the river. Go and grab that, and we'll be ready to go. And Austria will be wiped. Not wiped, they're pretty big, but they will take some big blows. And I imagine, you know, if I just let it play out, because obviously I'm not going to be losing the longer it goes on, we could just let them, you know, take quite a bit. Maybe these guys will want to take some land. I can try and give them some stuff to help them out, because they've been great allies, all four of them. Got to, got to, got to say thank you. So maybe we give Bohemia some stuff. Not so easy for Wurtz, but apparently I ran out of money. What? How did that happen? I just bought something. Why would it... I don't know how that happened. I assume maybe there was an event when we were on zero? I don't know. That was weird. It doesn't normally let you buy stuff if you have no money. So that made no sense to me. But it's fine. We'll pay it off like straight away. Uh, okay, we can now call this province, which will hopefully stop the rebels, who are pretty close to rising up. Declare war. Take capital Nordlandine. Call in the Commonwealth. Bohemia. We're calling them all in, just to be careful. Let's let's make this work. Get this nice and easy. They don't have a general, so I think we should be fine making the crossing. Hopefully. You can always reinforce them from behind. Uh, they don't actually want to make... They've taken a while to make this journey. And I think we just wiped their 8 stack. <laughs> anyway, so never mind. That, I thought that might be difficult. No, it was easy. A gift. Sweden just sent us through... Switzerland just sent us a load of ducats. I assume they don't like um, Austria, but like <laughs> they didn't realize how much money we're making. I mean, it's probably not that much compared to some other countries, but still, that's pretty useful. So here's the map. That is what Austria is up against right now. I'm sure they will struggle. Very difficult. Well, it's only 1% war score so far, but I don't think this will get one of the numbers like 318k v 36k. 113 v 22, 131 v 31. That might have been overkill. Probably didn't need the Commonwealth. But you know what? It, it was well worth it. It's going to be hilarious. Plus, Austria have been just a pain in the backside. So if we can weaken them, it may allow us to go after saxe lauenburg pretty easily in the future. And it allows our allies here just to have some more freedom, which is what we're trying to get from. Look at that. That is, that is brutal. Okay. We will definitely be gifting some land to these guys if they want it. Which I assume they will. And let's just keep buying these. Not run out of money this time. <laughs> Did pay off the loan, so that's good. What's going on out here? The Bomanis formed this, I think. Or it just popped up very quickly. Bengal's still very powerful. Ming is obviously Ming. Lose 4,000 manpower. Religion, lap, land changed to reformed. Or oh, you're all Swedish. Uh, the conflict must take its course. Hang on. 4,000 manpower is not an issue. It'll come back. There we go. Austria taking a bit of a battering right now. They ought to be fair going after Würzburg. Heavy focus on that. But they're not going to be able to piece out of that, I'm afraid. Because they just don't have... <laughs> their own war score's not high enough. So... Let's see how this works. Austria. Sue for peace. This is just Austria. Bohemia... We'll gain one... Okay, they're not... Austria aren't going to give much up yet, which is surprising. I guess many, maybe the forts haven't fallen. There's still three over here, actually. So, yeah, that would make sense. But, um... And they have some land here. If they hold on to this, it might take a while. But I don't think that will remain that way. We destroyed all the Danish boats. So I'm going to bring my boats over here. Just back to where they were. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Just waiting for the next one to be available. Is trade still our biggest income? Yes, just ahead of production. Taxation is pretty low, which makes sense. Don't imagine there's that many people want to live up in the cold. Who's this blue? Oh, they're giving land to me now. That's kind of them. Not that I can do much with it. I thought France had maybe got involved like in a separate war, which is very plausible. Now would be the time to do it, but probably not that bothered. I mean, the Commonwealth could always, you know, bring them in. <laughs> don't think it works like that. Well, it doesn't work like that. It does if you're defending and they call you in. It's very rare, but it could have could happened. Well, obviously, pretty unlikely. It's good to know that if anyone declares war on me, this level of force will be, hopefully, if they all agree to defend me. I mean, I was most scared of Austria declaring war on me. Britain, I think, would be fine. I could 
sort of defend them at the coast. I'm sure, that would go fine. France is obviously allied to the Commonwealth, so the Commonwealth probably would side with me. You never know. They are an AI. They would they're sort of program to side with me, I think. Or whoever it is that's being declared on. And then Spain is kind of too far away, I think. Brandenburg, stop destroying my trade. See that? Okay, 99% war score. Let's uh, just go for a big peace deal here. So Denmark, I will be having this and that. Bohemia can have one, two, three, four. That's a lot. Okay, let's keep try I'm trying to give them all a little bonus. Is there any forts I can give to? It doesn't show me where the forts are for some reason. Uh, the Commonwealth can have that. I don't know if that's what they wanted. It's what they get. I'm just trying to reduce the border gore, okay? That didn't, didn't really help. So that's going to be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.